Hello there, my anonymous friends. Today we will learn how to use one of the controllable TalkNet tools made in the Pony Preservation Project. However, let's first talk about computer requirements needed for this tool. You will need a Windows system, as well as a 3 gigabytes graphic card that can run the CUDA code. Now that the basics were covered, you can now jump straight into the Pony Preservation Project and open the Quick Start Guide link. The guide contains a lot of useful information for beginners. However, for sake of this tutorial, we are just interested in getting the TalkNet file. Do not worry if for some reason you will not be able to run the offline version. There is always option of using the Google Colab one. Follow the second link to start the download of offline TalkNet 2. and zip the file and folder you wish to install this program. Inside of it you will now see three batch files. Run the setup file to start the download and installation of necessary code. The next 3 minutes of this video will speed up, as installation process will take roughly between 20 to 30 minutes. If this is your first time using any Python, Deep Learning or other TensorFlow code, you will get a pop-up to install the CUDA and the Visual Studio applications. Now let's spend some time understanding what the other two batch files are needed for. The one named TalkNet will be used to start the entire program as it will be demonstrated to all of you in a few minutes. After the third file named update does exactly just that. Every time it's run, it will pick up whatever new changes were made in the GitHub code and override the existing files. I would like to also put a small note here. There are few custom made models not included in the main list of usable character voices. Those are a nun pony models trained by Anans, but if you are interested in using them, ask for a link in the thread. I've kind of run out of things to say here, so let me fill the next few minutes with the music Annan's created using this tool. I hear the drums are going tonight, but she hears only whispers of some quiet conversation. She's coming in trout every fight. Lit wings reflect the stars that guide me for salvation. I stop an old man along the way, hoping to find some old forgotten words of ancient melodies. He turned to me as if to say, Hurry, boy, it's waiting there for you. Gonna take a lot to drag me away from you. When you arrive with devastation, there's a simple explanation. You're up to me. After letting the installation run to its end, it will present you a following message that setup has completed its task and you will need to run the TalkNet batch file in order to use it. On the rare occasions that TalkNet will not work from the start, I would recommend running the update file or restarting your entire computer. 
Another rare problem is with the graphic card being unable to process the sound's pitch code. To fix that, open the controllable top net in the text file and change the CPU pitch false to the true, just like it's presented in the video. And once again, I would like to remind folks, if you happen to get a problem that wasn't presented with the solution in here, do ask other Anons in the Pony Presentation Project Breaths. And now, that all done and sorted, time to turn the top net file. The console will present you with this link that you will enter into your internet browser. This is what will be connecting the user interface with the TalkNet code and your graphic card. To generate the text, let's start with the basics. Check the option to disable the reference audio. This way you will use the most standard text-to-speech option provided by the TalkNet program. Now select the voice model you want to use. Keep in mind, when using voice model for first time, the program will take few seconds to download the file. Only after the voice model is downloaded, you will be able to use it completely offline. The downloading of the model starts after selecting model and pressing the generate button. Hello Annans, this is the Purple Smart. Now that the model was downloaded and loaded in the graphic card, it will take no time to generate the next audio line. All your base belong to us. Now let's look at the primary function, that is the ability to use audio reference to duplicate the pitch onto the Pony Voice model. In order to make it work, you will need to place the reference audio inside this folder. Come along with me when the butterflies and bees. As you could heard, this reference audio is not of the best quality, so the generated audio will inherit the same problems. If you happen to work with bad quality audio, I would highly recommend to just free doing it yourself. Speaking from experience, it will take several takes, all in different style. Depending on how much effort you want to give, this process may take between few seconds to several minutes. Come along with me and the butterflies can be Using the auto-tune output voice may sometimes improve the generated audio. However, be careful when mixing it with the non-auto, two audio reference files as there will be changes in the volume between them. Come along with me, and the butterflies can be When working with the main six, remember the talking voice models and singing voice models are separated, so probably it would be a good idea to use the appropriate model to the task at hand. Come along with me and the butterflies and bees. Come along with me. And the butterflies and bees. In order to use the change input pitch option, you need to select both this option and the auto tune output option. Come 
Come along with me And the butterflies in field Come along with me and the butterflies and bees. And the final instruction to keep the desired audio output, simply right click it and save it. Thank you for taking your time in order to learn more about the controllable TalkNet tool. As you can see, the entire process is pretty simple, and I hope many of you will be inspired to join in the fun in creation of the pony content for all to enjoy. Once again, thank you, and see you soon in the fret.